Hello YouTube. This is Artifacts Productions here, and this video is going to explain how to back up your Office 2010 activation files. If you're watching this video, you're probably aware of Microsoft's activation technologies. Microsoft designed it to help prevent piracy of their products. Unfortunately, you can only activate a Microsoft product so many times before it runs out of seats. It can be a real pain when you want to reinstall Office on your computer, but you don't want to reactivate it again in fear that you're going to lose a seat to your license. As you can see from my screen, Microsoft Office is asking me to type in the product key and activate Office. Now I have already done this and I have backed up the activation files, so I can show you later on how to restore it and that it actually works. So before we begin, you're going to need a flash drive or some other storage device to back up your activation files too. The first step is shutting down the Office Software Protection Platform Service. Go to the Start menu and type Services into the search box. When a list of results comes up, select Services from the list. If you're using Windows XP, you will need to go to the Control Panel, Administrative Tools, Services. Okay, so when you have the service window running, find the Office Software Protection Platform Service in the list and make sure that it is stopped. You will know if it is running if it says Started under the Status column. Double click the service and push the Stop button. Close out of all the windows you have opened to prevent clutter. Then go to my computer to your local disk drive which is usually the C drive, and find a folder called Program Data. If you don't see it, you may need to make hidden folders on your computer visible. Instead of giving another series of steps to make the folder visible, go to your address bar and add forward slash program data forward slash. Press Enter. Then go to a folder named Microsoft and find a folder within it called Office Software Protection Platform. Sound familiar? Right click and copy the folder to your flash drive or other storage device. Once you have the activation files copied to your flash drive or storage device, you're done. You've successfully backed up your Microsoft Office 2010 activation files. Remember earlier in the video when I tried to run Microsoft Word and it was asking me to type in the product key and activate. Well now I'm going to show you how to take your backed up activation files and restore them so that Microsoft Office has an activated status. But first, there are a few things that you should make sure of before restoring the activation files. The most important thing is to have Microsoft Office 2010 installed on your computer. Not 2007, not 2003, but 2010. Secondly, you must have the same edition installed. If you don't, it probably won't activate. Thirdly, your computer's hardware should be the same as when you originally backed it up. And if your hardware ends up being different, it's not going to activate. This is a security measure to prevent piracy. You can thank Microsoft. And also, if you are installing Office, don't allow it to activate over the internet you will be given the option to disable that during the install. Okay, so you need to go back to the service list. Go to the start menu, type services in the search box, and select services from the results. Now find the Office Software Protection Platform service in the list. Make sure that it is stopped. Remember, if it's running, double click the service and select Stop. Now, close out of the Services window, go to your removable storage device, and locate the backed up activation files. My actual activation files are stored on my secondary hard drive, so I'm going to select the folder and copy it. Now go to your local hard drive, find the Program Data folder. Remember, if you don't see it, just add forward slash program data forward slash to the address bar and then press enter. Find a folder called Microsoft. Open it. 
right click on an empty space within the folder and it should bring a drop down menu. Select paste and then that should copy the backed up activation files to the pre-existing folder in the Microsoft folder. You may be asked for permission to overwrite the existing files. That's alright. You want to overwrite the existing files. Once you have all the files copied over, you're done. You have successfully restored your activation status for Office. When you run Microsoft Word or another Office application, it should open up and run perfectly. There you go. It's as simple as that. Until next time, this is Nick from Artifacts Productions. Thanks for watching. You will need to scroll down to the bottom of the page and choose a download link. Windows XP users will choose the green one, and Windows Vista slash Windows 7 users will choose the blue one. Once you have chosen your download link, you will be brought to a page to download the package. Click download, and once it has finished installing, image with your favorite image editor and scale the image down to a size of 22 pixels by 22 pixels. Then save the image. Now run the I bar and go to preferences in the menu bar. In the preference window, change the start button logo from the default in the drop down menu list.